Welcome to Excellent Adventures, where I, your host, Reese Sweeney, take a step away from my duties as a radio and TV personality and give you a first-hand look at my other love, backyard chickens and homesteading. Take a listen to conversations I have with others who are in farming, homesteading, and connected brands. And some of those conversations go a little like this. She does say I have too much, though. She says I have too many, but I don't think I have enough. The chicken math started mathing. Yep, yep, it's never ending. I only started with like four laying hens. Now I have over 100 chickens and geese and quail. So the first question we ask everybody that comes on to the Excellent Adventures, what was your old cluck moment? The first thing that comes to mind is when the first time I got locked inside one of my own chicken coops. We talk about the highs, the lows, and everything in between. Now let's see who's on this episode of Excellent Adventures. And we're back with another episode of Excellent Adventures. I'm your host, Reese Sweeney. We have another wonderful guest, an excellent guest. They are very, very popular within the backyard chicken community the homesteading community, the small space community, and now our Excellent Adventures community. We have with us Forrest Clinton of My Pet Chicken. Let's hit the bell for that. I'm so excited to have you guys because uh, we kind of talked offline a little bit and just seeing that you guys come up have, during so many of our interviews, just saying, oh, yeah, I ordered some chickens from My Pet Chicken and or I ordered some pullets or something like that, man. And it's so, it's so wonderful to uh, be able to speak with someone from, from your company in person. Well, thank you so much for having us. We're really excited to be here and chicken chat with you. Um, and <laughs> yeah, that, that is, that's so great to hear. Um, there's such feedback about our company. We all truly love chickens um, and we want to share that. So that is some of the best feedback uh, that, that we can hear. And we're so appreciative of that too. Absolutely. When our producer said, Forrest Clinton's coming on for my pet chicken, I was like, <laughs> He was like, no, they got back to us. They want to be on the show. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's oh, pretty yeah. We're cool. so excited. Right. No relation to Bill, is it? Well, I'll tell you something. My okay. husband's name is Bill Clinton. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a tough uh, combo with my between my name and his name. You know, we've it's it's been tough. <laughs> I can understand that. I wonder how many crank calls you guys get per year. That's a, a whole lot. episode. <laughs> a lot. We have a lawn company that likes to send uh, mail to Hillary Clinton. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's talk about this my pet chicken. Usually we jump the episode off with just asking you guys um, you know, what started your chicken journey or what was your old cluck moment? What made you <laughs> say, you know what, I want to be in the, the business of chickens and you literally are in the business of chickens. So how did this kind of start for you? So for me personally, um I would say my old cluck moment um was gardening. I'm a gardener, uh, first and foremost, and I was composting and my compost just wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. um, so I live on a quarter acre lot, very small. So I don't have the room for um, larger livestock animals such as goats um, and stuff like that. So I was researching what can I, what animal can I realistically have um, for good poop to add to my co my compost. Um, and chickens was the obvious answer. And so I got a small flock of buff Orpingtons, which mm. are still one of my favorite breeds to this day. And I fell in love and have been on this wonderful um, chicken adventure ever since. It's been about nine years now. So, and I love it. I love it. That's that's really cool. So that that is an origin story we need mm -hmm. because this is what this podcast is for. For those that want to get outside a little more, be a little more self sufficient, and yep. you saying I'm a gardener, I needed some better poop yep. from the garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so crazy and that <laughs> that led my first order was from my pet chicken. I was a customer okay. first, mm. and I love the chickens. I love the company because um, as a new chicken keeper, I didn't know what I was doing. And there was and still is such a wealth of information um, that helps beginners to even experienced chicken keepers. Um, so like I said, I was a customer and I thought, you know, I wanted to get back into working and I reached out and luckily they were hiring and I've, I've loved it ever since. 
Now that's an excellent adventure right there. Mm-hmm. I, I hate to use the name in the pun, but that really is. It's like, okay, you started something, you're really mm-hmm. enjoying it. You get to be a part of a, a company that actually helps apply something that you enjoy. Yep. And, you know, the people that I've met working at my pet chicken are amazing. So um, I couldn't ask for a better group of chicken friends, you know, to be along with on this journey. And we hope that we also offer that to our customers, that they're not just customers, they're our chicken friends too. But we want to chicken chat with them, um, you know, and be a part of their journey too. I think you guys are, like you said, you, you, uh, on the site, they offer so much information mm-hmm. and it's not just like, here, let me sell you some chicks. Like some right. of the hatcheries are, it's almost feels like it's a forum. Like I can yeah. go on here and it's not overbearing because the graphics are amazing. And oh, it's thank like, you. Well, oh, see, that's part of your job. Huh? <laughs> no, I, I work with our graphic designer who is yeah. amazing and I'm just as much of a fan of her work. Um, so the thank you really comes from her, but um, we've been doing a lot of work. Uh, we got a new owner a couple of years ago and um, he, we've been doing a lot of work with, um, you know, rebranding. And so it's great to hear um, our new and updated look is, is being received well. That's awesome. Sometimes when ownership changes, it doesn't always go for the better. And mm-hmm. with this, one, it seems like it really does. Everything seems to be so user and, and customer friendly. It makes you feel yep. like a family. So now it's like almost like a Facebook group and not just a sales site. Yeah, we, we've we been, um, you know, really focusing on um, how to make the website, you know, very user friendly and how can it best serve our customer? Um so we, again, great, great feedback. We've been working, the whole team has been working really hard the past um, couple of years on doing that. So thank you. Yeah. And one of the stronger points that for, with you guys as a hatchery is that you have low minimums. Mm-hmm. So you really understand the customer base. It's like some people aren't trying to uh, get a whole flock of chickens and, and supply the neighborhood with eggs or, you know what I mean? It's almost <laughs> like some people just want to be have chickens on their back porch. <laughs> yep, we right. You're you're right. We have um, in the warmer months, um, we have a three chick minimum, um, and that is great. Like for example, um, you know, many people who live in more urban areas, um, they can't have a hundred chickens, or you know, even if they'd like to, their town has restrictions. Um, so being able to order those smaller amounts is beneficial for so many people. Um, often certain times of the year, we sell pullets, which are six to nine week old chicks yes. and their minimum order since they're a little bit older is only two. Um, mm-hmm. So if you even couldn't take three, you know, we, we can get down to t- uh, two pullets for shipping. So it works for so many people that um, just, can't or don't want you know a ton of chickens at once and that's that's awesome information too um with, with, like you said pullets and that that was one of the stories that we got you guys um are shooting a very high percentage when it comes to getting people pullets mm-hmm. some place we order i've ordered pullets 10 pullets at a time yep. and oh, wow. I get a rooster oh <sighs> at least two always okay <laughs> And you guys, I was telling uh, one, we were having a conversation on one of these episodes and somebody said, well, go to my pet chickens. You, I've never failed with them. I have never got a rooster when I order pullets. And I was like, okay, this will be my next stop. It, listen, it happens. Um, sexing a chicken to tell if it's male or female is sort of science combined with art. Mm-hmm. Um, so, <laughs> you know, listen, it rooster mistakes definitely happen um but we've got a great team who you know has done really well with it i think we're at about 90 to 95 percent um accuracy on that so yeah Yeah, that's what i heard that's what i heard Mm -hmm. that's that's pretty cool and there's some people and it's not a bad thing to have roosters i don't want to rooster slander but right right. some people are not hoas like when i first started this chicken journey myself i'm in an hoa um, I had these 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 pullets and I had 
hens and then I ordered more because the chicken math hit, right? Yep. So I ordered more and then I end up with two roosters and my neighbor texts me like five in the morning. She's like, Reese, I love you. I love the eggs. We really appreciate everything, but this rooster has to go. It's five o'clock and I got twin babies trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone can appreciate a rooster. Okay? Right. <laughs> Mm hmm. So no. So w with that, that, that's really that's really great for those who aren't really familiar with my pet chicken. And I know they hear us talking about you can order actual pullets or hens or, or, or baby birds from you guys. You offer a wide variety of things as well, from coops down to egg supplies. You guys kind of do it all. And then you have another side of it where it gives you information. One part that drew me to you guys where I said I'm ordering from there, not just from hearing it from the chicken community, where is a little questionnaire. And it adds, it's basically trying to find out what kind of chickens should you get. And I think that's a really key piece. Can you kind of expound on that a little? Yes, of course. I love to. Our breed selector quiz um, is is what you're referring to. And it's such a great tool, um, not mostly for beginners. Um, you know, when you just decide to start chicken keeping, um, there are so many breeds out there and really finding the ones that are going to meet your needs in as far as um, how many eggs they're going to produce, um, what color eggs, what do you want your egg basket to look like? Um, are they going to be hardy in your area if it's hot or, mm. you know, cold? Um, and their personality. Some breeds are better for beginner chicken keepers and some are better, um, you know, for those who have a little bit more experience. So mm. we're taking all those things into account and, um, trying to give you options that, you know, we will think um, works best for you. So it's great for experienced people too. Um, if you, you know, sort of know what you're looking for and, um, you know, you just want suggestions on certain egg colors or your climate or something like that. So it's really great um, for, for everyone to help decide what breeds are gonna be best for your flock. That makes so much sense. It's like mm -hmm. an all-inclusive all place. It's almost yep. going on vacation on your website. <laughs> yep. <laughs> kind of get it all. What are some of the things that you've kind of learned from just being working there at My Pet Chicken uh, about even raising your own flock and just about the, the customer experience? <laughs> We've reached that part of the show where we hook you up with some insider information. And this time it's some egg side information. Y'all know what I mean. Because <laughs> people ask me all the time, how do you get your chicken so fluffy and healthy and happy and their eggs are so bright beautiful and they taste delicious too i would love to dedicate all those things to me coming in and having a great time in that chicken coop every day and shaking it up with those ladies but the fact is it comes from a healthy and balanced diet of purina's laina that's the brand we use whether you've got laying hens and you want to go with the purina laina plus omega-3 or you've got a bunch of baby chicks running around in your brooder and you go with that purina start and grow crumble you can't lose i know we haven't so visit their website today and in three easy steps you can get discount coupons for the Purina product that's right for some great nutrition for your animals. I did it myself and it only took me about two minutes. It's absolutely worth it. And to make things easier, we have the hyperlink on our website, blackyardchickens.com. Just look under product of the month and you'll see the link right there to go and try your Purina feed greatness. And through their trial program, they can pair you with the right nutrition and let you try it with your animals and see the results. Now I can tell you all day how Purina feed greatness has been absolutely phenomenal phenomenal for my chickens, goats, ducks, and rabbits. But you can see for yourself. Go to blackyardchickens with a z.com. Now let's get back to this week's adventure. Um well, we focus heavily here on customer experience. Um, a lot of us were customers ourselves uh mm. before we were employees, so um that customer experience is important especially with chicken keeping um for a lot of people, these are their pets and they mean so much. And it is, you know, unnerving if something is going on with your pet and you don't know about it. Um, mm -hmm. We are not veterinarians at My Pet Chicken, um, but we collectively have a lot of experience with chicken keeping. And so, um, you know, it's important to us to be able to share that knowledge. Um, Personally, I've learned so much about chickens. I didn't know there was this much to learn about chickens. And 
it's so much fun. It's so much fun working here and having a community of people who also love chickens just as much and um, just share their knowledge. It's great. I think everyone um, who maybe doesn't have a chicken friend in their life, you know, <laughs> wishes I had a, chi I wish I had a chicken friend so I could tell them what, you know, I don't know, funny thing, like dust bathing. That's funny. Right. right? right. And <laughs> you want to share in that joy with a chicken friend. So, um, there are lots of chicken friends here at MPC, um, to sort of share your journey and, and learn, um, about what's, what's going on with chickens. So, um, just having a community, a chicken community has just been so great, so great. It's been so enriching in my life um, to just make so many chicken friends. That's awesome. <laughs> I go in the room sometimes now and because of my other job, like I work at a radio station, it's, mm -hmm. I don't always find people that want to talk about chickens. So right. that's awesome. <laughs> that's right. awesome. We yeah. want to <laughs> talk about your chickens with you. So <laughs> I want to talk about what's the best bedding or, or where can I set up a dust bath inside, inside the run? I want to talk about these things, you know what I mean? And uh, it's, exactly. it's, it's going to be really cool to be at work and be able to do that. And, and that's the other things, you know, there are, there are some basics in chicken keeping that we need to stick to, right? They need a clean, um, healthy environment, but mm -hmm. there's lots of different ways to do that. So um, it's important to talk with people and, you know, you may be doing something differently than I'm doing and I can learn from you and vice versa. So mm -hmm. um, we, we love that. We love um, just being able to talk with people and and um help them out learn ourselves too right it's like learn and go <laughs> learn and grow. i love it tell me about this coop now i i, I look on your website now so like a whole nother section for coops and things it seems new if it's not new i just didn't see it before can you kind of tell us about that a little sure is that are you talking about the um the nestera coop the black yes. ones yes the yes. black ones and then you have like a, a few it seems like some customer favorite coops up, up mm -hmm. here and stuff like that so let's talk about the coops a little bit yeah so the um the nestera brand is uh new to us this year and we're really excited to um be selling them a couple of them are low to the ground you were talking about waterfowl before um mm -hmm. so these those two coops are great for chickens but also um ducks geese um also some of those low to the ground coops are really great for silkies um sometimes those silky chickens have trouble getting up the steeper uh yeah. ramps yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but these are some of our favorites. They come in different sizes, um, easy to put together, very easy to clean, which, you know, is a plus in chicken yes. keeping. Um, they, <laughs> that's, they, a, that's probably the most, <laughs> right. the most important thing. Can yeah. I clean it and can I get to the eggs? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So these coops are very functional, um, 25 year warranty, which, hmm. Um, is not common with a lot of chicken at all. on the market. Lucky yeah, be a thirty day warranty. Exactly, exactly. Um, it is. It's also made of recycled plastic shampoo bottles. Um, mm, so, okay. one more way to have a sustainable lifestyle with chickens. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's it's a great coop. We've gotten really great feedback. Um, on it, and we're really excited to carry it this year. It looks like a little tank, too. I know it's like a it wagon it? tank, but it does yeah. look, like, look like the chickens are going in and ready for war. Yep. I like it. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> they're really great. Like they're, mm -hmm. they're really great coops. We're, like I said, we're really excited to, to have them on our website. Yeah. And it looks ver really durable as well. Looks like it's almost mm -hmm. winterized already. You got the vents at the top and it, it kind of creates that airflow and everything like that. So it'll probably do well no matter the weather, whether hot or cold. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. Great ventilation. Um, these coops also have some great accessories with them too. Automatic chicken doors, um, pull out dropping trays. Some of them come with wheels so you can make the coop into a tractor. Um, so lots of great accessories, um, optional accessories that you can add on to, to, um, I think just make chicken keeping a little bit more easier. An auto coop door is great, especially in the cold winter time, you know, <laughs> when it sticks in the morning, you got to get up and open that coop door to let them out. It does it itself. 
Exactly. Exactly. So that's probably been my best addition to my coop is having that auto door. I would agree. I would <laughs> absolutely agree. It's the best, um, best addition allows you to not have to get up so early. And also, um, if you want to go out in the evening, you know, mm-hmm. you can know that your chickens are going to get, um, you know, locked up safely. So yeah, I would have to agree with that. Right. Unless you got to confuse Silky. Then, then yes. Yes. everybody's in the coop. But her. Listen, I don't know any auto door that can help but confuse Silky, though. <laughs> I haven't seen one yet. Oh, uh, man. That, that, that was really great information. I want you guys, I'm imploring everybody to kind of go to this website and check out the different coops, too. I, I don't get paid to say this either. I just think you guys have some really amazing concepts and designs. And some pretty great companies and then to see the warranties and the reviews and you can actually see customer interaction on the different things and you might find one that works for you thanks we're um all chicken keepers here at my pet chicken so uh the benefit of that for our customers is we are testing these products ourselves to make mm-hmm. sure they are really going to work and function as um, a chicken keeper would expect it to. So we take a lot of pride in the products that we offer um, in that, you know, in some way they're going to help make your, and your flocks better, life better. Now, and I can definitely see that. And like I said, on the other side of the site, the same website, you guys also expound on the egg, the eggs part where you got egg cartons and egg Mm -hmm. cleaner and shiner and stuff like that too. Yes, um, we sell some beautiful cartons from Henley, and mm-hmm. we have um, quail, duck, chicken sizes, bantam size uh, cartons. We have um, quite a nice selection with some of them have prints on them. Some of them have room for stamps on them. So um, who doesn't love a nice egg carton? <laughs> I know I do. (laughs) do And the people that we give the eggs to, they really appreciate them too, especially when they can get six and even down to three eggs at a time. Yeah. Those smaller packs are, I find so great because Mm -hmm. we can't always share a dozen eggs. Right. Right. So, um, and I don't know, is giving a half egg carton. How does that go with people? Do they think where's the other half or thank you for the six I got, you know? So, right. No, that, yeah. It just depends on who, right? Like the, the family size, sometimes you've got one person in the house and they just need yeah. a, a few eggs for the week. So, you know, it works out. Yeah works out now let's talk about these beautiful birds you have not only do you have some of the fan favorites like we talk about the orpingtons the barred rocks and the polishes and things like that but you guys have some of your own breeds we do we're um we have several exclusive breeds to my pet chicken that um we work on creating the recipe of them, if you will. Um, and <laughs> not the we have, herbs and spices. <laughs> yes, no, 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 not that kind. Not, not their that recipe. Kind. <laughs> the breed <laughs> recipe. Um, and we have two new ones this year. We have the Lavender Dream Easter Egger. So mm. that is um, an Easter Egger with lavender feathers. Um, and she's beautiful. Uh, lavender feathers are just, um, in my book, such they're such pretty birds all of them um and then our next one is we have a um olive agar um olive agars i am finding are very popular um these days so we have a gold kissed granite olive agar um Mm. has some barred feathering um with a little bit of gold in the feather they're beautiful birds too um and they'll give you a beautiful olive olive egg Um, We have another one that's named, um, she's not on our website yet, but she's coming, uh, called um, called Amarabella. Amarabella. Yep. And they're going to be, they're, they're going to be a friendly production bird. Um, We're trying to create a really good bird for beginners. Yeah. You know, easy to take care of. We'll do well in all climates and we'll lay really well too. Um, So she'll be. She'll be available in 2024. So yeah, we love our um, our exclusive breeds. Another favorite of mine is a silked Easter Egger. Um, okay. So they're a little bit bigger and a little bit hardier than the silkies are, and um, but also give you you know a light blue or green egg. Um, so kind of the silky but toughened up a little bit, if you will. 
Got you. No, and I'm a little I'm, smarter too. <laughs> I'm looking, thank God. I'm looking, right. I'm looking at them right now. My silky could not figure out how to work the door for anything. So yeah, next, they're next, so next, cute next, though, next. right? Mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely so we'll be on the lookout for those you guys can see if you're watching the uh the podcast on the youtube side you can see these pictures flashing across with these some of these beautiful birds that uh Forrest is talking about right now this is amazing what you guys are doing for the chicken community um are 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 we getting into what now let's just say some somebody has chickens and math is hit and now they want to try different birds what other uh types of birds are we able to get on my pet chicken Oh, we have so, so many, um, some new breeds that we had this year, which are really fun is a, a frizzled mottled Cochin Bantam. Mm. Um, so that is, uh, Cochins are such a great breed and I love, I personally love frizzled chickens. Their feathers are just so fun. And, um, so that one, we also are going to have a, Cuckoo Silky Bantam. Um, I want that one just for the name. Yep, exactly. Um, <laughs> another one of my favorite is a Calico Cochin Bantam. They okay. are just some of the sweetest little chickens I have ever owned. Um, who else do we have that's new? Oh yeah, our Splash Polish. Um, if you've ever had a Polish in your flock, you know, they're a little bit wacky, but such yeah. great entertainment. <laughs> right. Um, like the rock stars. Yep. And we have a lot of, um, you know, heritage breeds. The Bard Plymouth Rock is such a great chicken. Um, the Black Copper Morans, who will give you that beautiful, you know, chocolate covered egg. Um, East, we have, you know, lots of different Easter eggers. Easter eggers. For us, are actually um, one of the the number one sellers. People love their Easter eggers, and you know, with good with good reason. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, you get a lot of the variety of eggs. When you yeah. order a, a clutch of Easter eggers, you're gonna get those olive. You might get blue, pink, and just any types of colors. Yep, and and they they have um, for the most part they have great personalities. They're great mm -hmm. for beginners. Um, Brahmas and I already mentioned Cochins. Those are some of my favorites. Such such sweet birds. I think yeah. just big fluff balls. <laughs> yeah, I had a, a one of my favorite roosters. I had to rehome because I was in the HOA. Luckily, I've moved now, so I can mm -hmm. keep my roosters. But he was one of my favorite. I called him Legs. He just had those long socks on. He was running around the yard and run up to me when I came out with treats and feed his ladies. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. On the other side, you guys got some beautiful waterfowl. That's one on my my personal wish list. I hope I say it right. I want to Sebastopol. <laughs> We've reached that part of the show where we hook you up with some insider information. And this week, it's all about eating pet and pasture. And I got a 20% discount code for you. As farmers, we know the love and care it takes to raise happy and healthy animals. So choose the best when it comes to bedding, premium cut Timothy hay, and treats for your furry and feathery friends. So if you're looking for super absorbent hemp bedding or nesting pads for your laying ladies, look no further than Eaton Pet and Pasture. Check them out right now at EatonPetandPasture.com and first time shoppers get a 20 percent discount by typing in reese at checkout that's r-e-e-c at checkout now let's get back to another excellent adventure um sebastopol, sebastopol. Yeah, sebastopol. okay mm -hmm. yep it looks like she has on a fur coat and i needed in my life yes they are beautiful <laughs> and so friendly too those mm -hmm. geese are very friendly um those are hard to get they sell out yeah. so so quickly um and with good reason look at them they're just I don't know. It's like they're in a ball gown to me, ready to. Right, they look like they're going um, to the Met Gala. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. <All right. laughs> they're ready for the Met. You're right. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, they're beautiful birds. I know that's kind of like on my wish list to get one of those and uh, actually a couple of those. So I think next year I want to get into uh, to geese. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Because I got some um, ducks. They're, they're, they're wonderful. They do, you know, really great through the winter. Um, springtime is, uh, we recommend if you can having a little coop or section for just them. They get really territorial when they're trying to um, sit on their eggs in the springtime. Um, no, they're, no. they're great guardians for, for the flock. No, that's cool. I appreciate that. Now that, that, that 
is going to be a plus. And now for those that can't get, um, let to say those that cannot get roosters, I've heard mm-hmm. that if you get a the right goose, then you won't need a rooster. They will actually do the same type of job, but they won't crow at five in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I mean, they do make noise. Yeah, They're yeah, not yeah. Crowing, they make noise, right. But to some people, um, it's it's a more acceptable noise, I, I yes. would say. And yes, they, they make great guardians. They're certainly bigger than a rooster. I mean, they're... You know, they can be up to 30, 35 pounds. They're more like a small to medium sized dog, you know, right, so right. their their size alone. Um, but yeah, they're they're great um, flock guardian. So if yes. you can't keep a rooster, but you think you may be able to keep a, a goose. Yeah, that would be a, a another alternative. <laughs> now, that's amazing. Have you got have do you have any geese at all? Or is it just strictly chickens? I I have not had geese. I. um I've been on the fence. One of my sons would, <laughs> would like one. He's been okay. asking me for a while. They're large. And I, yeah. like I said, I don't have a large backyard. Um, I have had ducks at one point mm-hmm. um, and sometimes enjoyed them. They were very yes. messy. Again, yeah, for my... I, I'm yeah. like, I, have, I have ducks. Uh-huh. I am all for the duck slander here. <laughs> okay, okay. They are They're, adorable, but they are messy. They mess the water up every day. They tear up everything. I love them because yep. of how cute they are. And oh, I, yeah. have one, I have one favorite. The Mr. Quackers is my favorite. I got a Muscovy. He, you yep. know, they don't quack. He's quiet. He walks up to me. He wags his tail and hisses at me. And mm-hmm. then he wants me to feed him and give him treats. Yep. But the other ones I could do without. I'm not going to mm. hope. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah the, the the mess um you got to be ready for for the mess with them mm-hmm. but they're like you said they're they're so adorable they have yes. such great personalities mm-hmm. and their eggs i mean their eggs um i love using them i now buy from a local farm but i love using them my daughter does a lot of baking and yes. you cannot beat duck eggs um no, in, with baking yeah. mm-hmm my daughter does too. She can't wait. We got we got ducks um in June. They haven't started mm-hmm. laying yet, but they they are ready for some duck eggs to put in these brownies and, and holiday cakes that we were yep. hoping for. <laughs> yep. 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 Now I I will say this. Their personalities are amazing. Um mm-hmm. they don't have that pecking order situation as bad as chickens. They do a little neck tussling and then that's it. And they're pretty, pretty cool to be around. If you have a pond or something, get ducks. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Any pool like me. Oh, you're going to have to change it every day. <laughs> yeah. Or, I mean, that's the alternative. Just be aware of, um, you know, it's a lot more cleaning with them mm-hmm. than I, than, than chickens. So yeah. yeah, just be aware of, of what, and, you know, be okay with, with what you're getting into. So absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, man. I, I really appreciate that. If you somebody for the first time they listen to this interview, they want to go on my pet chicken. What could you tell them? What was maybe some advice or something you would tell them to do when they get on that website? Sure, great question. Um, so the first thing I would recommend is that they take a look at our chicken information that we offer. Um, mm-hmm. We have a chicken care guide that um you know look look through that that goes through what the benefits of keeping backyard chickens are because some people you know will come to our site and they haven't made their decision yet you know um they don't know if chickens are going to be right for them so you know we talk about the benefits of keeping them um are they you know are they right for you um caring for the baby chicks the coop requirements, um, just getting all geared up of what you're going to need for them. Um, and then, you know, actually caring for them um, and what you can expect going forward. Um, so we really encourage um, people to be educated on, you know, what what they're getting into and is this right for you? Um, so that's where I always recommend people start is um, our How to Raise Chickens Care Guide. Great, great great. information. Um, As you mentioned before, the breed selector quiz, that's another, you know, once you decide, yes, chickens are for me, the breed selector quiz is so great to 
um, you know, help you get an idea of maybe what you should be looking for. Uh, we also have baby chick supply checklist um, that you can go through, just make sure um, everything, you have everything and you're ready. Um, we also have um, an FAQ section of our website and a blog section of our website. Um, so take a look at those and there's tons of great articles um, that can help you with your chicken keeping journey and um, reach out to us, you know, call us, email, chat us online. If you have questions, we're, we're your chicken friends and we're, you know, we're, we're here to help. So don't ever hesitate to, you know, reach out. Right. Did you, when you got into this and I do have another question as this, but did, when sure. you got into this, did you have any idea how big, of a industry this was with like people wanting to actually have pet chickens? No, no, um, <laughs> not at all. It's so wonderful to, to see though. Um, you know, they have, it's called chicken math for a reason, right? right. <laughs> so right. Um, no, but it's, it's so wonderful to, to see um, that, that people are getting into chickens. It means so much in so many different ways that these backyard pets can affect your life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're getting better food, more nutrient dense food. Um, you know, if you garden, you are living a more sustainable lifestyle with your chickens through gardening also. Um, I think just purely from a pet, having them as a pet perspective, it can, mm -hmm. you know, help improve mental health also. Um, so, you know, and just great fun entertainment. You know, some of the best times with my family is sitting on our back porch, having dinner and just watching the chickens. They're <laughs> such great entertainment. Yeah. Um, so we want to share all of that with, with you guys. No, we get it. And I, we appreciate it too. And, and it comes off so friendly and customer friendly. And I just mm -hmm. implore people to check you guys out. One part that really excited me was because I, I I hatched my first few eggs last year. Oh, uh, shout out to my guy, my guy, uh, Matt, that sent me and Taylor from um, Uncoop Podcast. He, he mm -hmm. kind of told me on how to hatch with the incubator. So Great. now that I have one, I think I understand it. I want to get some of these uh, these show quality prize silky hatching eggs that you guys uh, can provide. Yes. Oh, <laughs> those are so fun. Hatching is so fun. We also have a hatching care guide on our website. Um, mm. Many of us here at My Pet Chicken are hatchaholics, and the, <laughs> the incubator is running nearly year round. Wow. Um, so we love hatching uh, here, and those silkies are. Um, beautiful. The breeder does just a, such a great job. Um, she's still showing her birds mm -hmm. and, um, you know, winning a lot of first places at, at wow. these chicken shows. So we're very proud to be um, offering these eggs to, to our customers. And she's creating a, a very strong competition base yes. <laughs> for herself. She, she, might, she might be losing to her own uh, breed. Yes. It's, we, we won't remind her of that. Exactly. exactly. I love it. <laughs> And I appreciate you so much for taking the time out and kind of talking with us and talking to our audience about my pet chicken and some of the amazing things you guys offer and all this information too. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much for, for having us and um, letting us share some information about our company. And um, we encourage anyone who, you know, has any issues or questions, even if you're not a customer of ours, um, come give us a chicken chat. You know, we <laughs> want to be, on this chicken keeping journey with you. And um, so, you know, check us out. Absolutely, absolutely. Last question we asked, and I kind of stole this from another podcast. It's okay, they let me do it. Um, if you could recommend one person or company or entity to come on the show, who would it be? Oh, that's a good one. Um, hmm. Selfishly, I think now I want to talk to the silky breeder. <laughs> <laughs> right. I I was going to say, um, you know, there are a lot of um, breeders out there. I think it would be gr really, it would be great to um, hear from some breeders and just see what's really behind the scenes mm -hmm. of um, what's being done to make sure that 
um, customers are getting good quality birds. Um, yes. And it's also really interesting, you know, many breeders breed for different things. Um, we breed for friendliness, hardiness, egg production. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, some people are breeding their chickens um, for the show bird quality. Yes. And so that's a whole different program. Um, so every time I've talked to a breeder, I just walk away with such a wealth of information um, of the behind the scenes of, of the chicken world. So yeah, I would have to say um, a, a good chicken breeder, um, you know, of a certain breed that, that you like would be a lot of fun. Okay. Well, we're going to add that to the excellent adventure checklist and we appreciate you once again, Forrest Clinton coming to us, no relation to Hillary, but relation to Bill <laughs> for wine back. If you're not sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thanks again for coming on. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. That's another episode of Excellent Adventures. I hope you guys are winding this back. There's so many nuggets in here. We appreciate you. Ah! Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Excellent Adventures, powered by Blackyard Chickens. Now, if you think you want to raise your own backyard flock, here's the site for you, blackyardchickens.com. We make entertaining videos about raising baby chicks from scratch. You know what I mean by from scratch, right? Or maybe you want to learn how to take care of your own big chickens or hens and get those fresh eggs. Building a coop or buying a coop, having the necessary things inside that coop to get great egg production. You'll learn a lot of the neat tricks I've picked up along the way from other chicken enthusiasts. And you can get pretty eggs just like those. So follow us on social media and check us out on our YouTube channel. Bye.